For decades, it shaped much of Arvada's economic fabric. Well, Rocky Flats was a major portion of my life. It's part of this whole story of the nuclear age. The Rocky Flats plant is closed, it's gone, uh, but there's still a lot of discussion about the former plant site. The Rocky Flats nuclear weapons plant, just north of Arvada, operated for nearly 40 years, providing jobs and civic pride during the Cold War era, and stimulating lots of controversy, too. It closed in 1992, was dismantled, cleaned up, and designated as a national wildlife refuge. Now, a museum in Old Town strives to put it all in perspective. We're not trying to answer the issue, we're trying to present it. The Michigan Museum, I think if you go back a dozen years when the group started to form this, it was more a commemoration of what happened at Rocky Flats. What we realize in today's world is that none of the issues that surrounded the Cold War died with the end of the Cold War. They simply rearranged themselves. It's not just a story between two superpowers anymore, it's now a much more a global issue. To have Iran developing nuclear weapons, have Korea threatening the U.S. with a nuclear attack. I mean, those are major issues that you read in the news every day. And so part of our mission is to help frame these complex issues in ways that the public can become critically informed about them. Kim Grant served on the museum's board for 10 years, helping to attain its nonprofit status in 2001 and to secure a major federal grant in 2007. Looks like you've really covered a lot of ground here. I think it's important because places like Rocky Flats helped put Arvada on the map and, and then attracted a, you know, a highly skilled workforce with good paying jobs. And, and it's part of Arvada's story as it grew and developed in the mid-century period. I think it's important to remember that. Located in historic Old Town, the Rocky Flats Cold War Museum first opened in 2013 with a temporary exhibit. It displayed an extraordinary collection of works by atomic photographers. An upcoming exhibit deals with nuclear age anxiety. The acrylic and oil collection is titled, This Is Not a Test, The Atomic Art of Doug Waterfield. So his work features atomic pop culture, which is, I think, very fascinating. It shows the anxiety, in a way, of the Cold War uh, period, the, the nuclear age, as we also call it. People who had to duck and cover in case of, of a nuclear attack, people who were uh, hiding in bomb shelters. Many people had those bomb shelters in their houses at the time. One of the paintings depicting Rocky Flats will remain in the permanent collection of the museum as a donation from the artist. The exhibit runs April 19th through the end of May. And work is underway on another exhibit set for September. It will focus on Rocky Flats in particular, giving a glimpse inside the plant through the eyes of its workers. People like Jack Weaver. He worked there from 1961 till 1996 then stayed on as a consultant for another six years. I loved it, and still do. I mean, I, if, if I was looking for a place to work and the place was still open, I'd still be there. He is among many former workers now sifting through artifacts and developing concepts for the museum. Weaver held many positions at Rocky Flats, starting as a laborer, then working his way up as a chemical engineer and eventually a deputy director of plutonium operations. I've had a lot of good times dealing with the stuff that's here. It brings back a lot of memories. A lot of people, myself included, had problems because the, the uh, surgeon's gloves would have uh, talcum powder on and you get dermatitis. So we wore these to soak up the sweat and, and uh, keep your hands from getting little water blisters on. Being afraid wasn't part of it. Being cautious, safety minded, those sorts of things, but it never occurred to me to be afraid. I never had anything that, that really caused me fear of any kind. If you look at what Rocky Flats did, which was make nuclear weapons for the military, and that was a deterrent to the rest of the world to keep from attacking our shores, that was a very proud thing for me as far as, as, far as that part of it goes. 
Many people still don't know really what, what happened there. And what, what, what was the daily job of a Rocky Flats worker? How, how did it go? What, what was it all about? It's hoped that their stories and the presentation of contemporary nuclear issues will grow within the Rocky Flats Cold War Museum. We're at a critical time. Um, we need land, we need property, we need a permanent home. We need funds to accomplish those things. I think it's, it's a historical thing that people should look at from a history standpoint, not from a negative or a positive. Just come and look for yourself and decide for yourself what you think about it. The Waterfield exhibit titled, This Is Not a Test, The Atomic Art of Doug Waterfield, runs April 20th through May 31st. The museum will be open Wednesday through Saturday from noon to 5 p.m. It is free. An opening night wine and cheese reception on April 19th from 6 to 9 p.m. is $20. The Rocky Flats Cold War Museum is currently located at 5612 Yukon Street in Old Town, Arvada. For more information, check out the museum's website at rockyflatsmuseum.org.